cannot follow your rights. These four started their walk at Nsambia Sharing Hall. No photography, no stopping, no parking. Well, there's no photography, but I guess videography you can. They ignored the heavy downpour and kept at it. Despite the biting cold, they did not receive a warm welcome at the embassy. The security denied them permission to get in. Earlier, they had explained to journalists the reason for their trek. To have Mr. Kutesa as President of the General Assembly would present a serious conflict of interest, much like the situation that Parliament found to exist in 1999. They were against the forthcoming election of Sam Kutesa as the President for the 69th UN General Assembly and were hoping to do something about it. They want Sam Kutesa to withdraw his candidature. Mr. Kutesa should do the honorable thing and withdraw his candidacy. And so, they made their way to the U.S. Embassy. Sam Kutesa, the current Foreign Affairs Minister, has been nominated as the sole candidate to represent Africa and become the only candidate to be the next president of the U.N. General Assembly. A group of Ugandans, however, say Kutesa's election will not serve the interests of the U.N. Is it serious when it speaks about supporting those who fight against corruption and for human rights and the rule of law in Africa? Will it allow U.S. taxpayer money to fund Mr. Kutesa's salary? Solomon Kawesa, NTV.